Let's start from the beginning. A year and a half ago my wife started a new job. She was making a lot of new friends. Anyways, a year ago she says maybe we should separate. She's feeling like we are just roommates and we don't do anything. I ask her if there is someone she says no. She ends up staying. But there is a guy she goes to lunch with sometimes. Usually without telling me. I get irked about it but it is what it is. I don't think they were doing anything. About last September comes and she brings separation back up. After a while I tell her to please just find a place because at this point it feels like she OS dragging me along and I feel so miserable all the time because I don't seem important anymore. She found a place and moved out in November. She and I agreed dating others would be okay but I said if sex becomes involved, I was done. She agreed. Fast forward to last week. I went to get on Gmail on my computer and it was already logged in as her from a long time ago I never use my Gmail account so I'm never on it. Love and behold. There is a passionate note to a guy about how she wishes he would put forth more effort in their relationship and how she loves him. I confronted her about it and it turns out of course she's had sex with him. We had decided before the separation that if one of us wanted to date someone, we would let each other know. I let her know once I was going to ask someone out but I never pulled the trigger on it because I wasn't doing to work on us. Anyways, in addition to sleeping with him I find out that the first time she kissed him was about a month before she even moved out. She claims they only had sex once but it hurts all the same. Now after all this, she wants back with me and broke it off with him. She told him they can't even be friends anymore or hang out together. We have three kids and I'm sure this affects them the most. I cry for them sometimes and I hope that this doesn't hurt them one day. I feel like I failed her and I espe feel like I failed them. I also feel like taking her back would be beneficial for the kids but I worry about this happening again in the future. I've agreed to a couples therapy session but honestly I'm scared and have never felt more alone in my life. I should also clarify she pays me $150 a month even though all costs a month that we share plus the kids' expenses amount to $1,100. I confronted her about paying half in early January and she got mad and said she couldn't afford it and I said that's not my problem. Funny enough I think it was shortly after that that she had sex with him. Wife cheated on me while separated. My wife of two years flew out of state and had an affair with a guy she played video games with. She wanted to separate to work on herself she didn't feel like her own person. We lived together during the separation and I noticed a lot of her habits were changing. She never wanted to spend time together or talk about the relationship. Caught her with her top off looking at her phone smiling. Found a condom in her purse that I knew for sure wasn't there before. I got the courage to ask her if she was seeing somebody else. She got defensive. She started to cry and said the fact that you think I would do something like that just proves me you don't know me at all. I thought I fucked up the relationship and drove her away. She moved out and started living with her aunt. She never wanted to talk about things and try to work things out. Later I found out after she moved out she flew out of state and met a guy that she met online. She told me she was going with her cousin on a girl's trip. Her cousin was the one to tell me she flew out of state. I noticed changes in her even before this, and I believe she was planning this for a while. I confronted her with all the evidence I had and she finally confessed she slept with him. We were together for six years and it kills me to know the love of my life slept with another man. We agreed not to see other people and we wanted to eventually reconcile. I did everything for her, cooked and cleaned while working a full-time job. All I wanted was her time and all she wanted to do was play video games and apparently date a guy she only knew through Xbox and for less than a year. I know I deserve better and I'm fine with not being together again. I just have this guilt that I fucked up the relationship by wanting to spend a lot of time together. She says my accusations drove her to cheat but I was accusing her while she was actively cheating on me. I don't know how to handle this, I thought she was the one and wanted to spend my life with her. How do I move on from such a gut-wrenching feeling and stop thinking about her sleeping with someone else? I want to move on and stop replaying images in my head of her being with him. Update thank you all for your advice and words of encouragement. I want to clear things up for those who said it wasn't cheating because we were separated. We both agreed to not see other people. I told her if she did I would never get back with her and she started crying saying it hurt her to think she would go be with someone else she was actively planning to cheat. Also another update, out of character for me but I met this really cute girl the other night and we ended up having sex. While it's never the answer to have casual sex, it made me feel better. Like I no longer am connected to her that way because my wife was my first sexual partner. When I think about her sleeping with him it still sucks but now I'm not heartbroken. I know I have a lot of options and will eventually find someone who matches better with me. Divorce is happening and I will not let her talk me out of it. She wants a second chance. My ex and I had a solid three months where we only talked about the kids and her mom. We were splitskis. Then we ended up at a mutual friend's birthday party and both had a bit to drink. We ended up talking a really deep talk and then sleeping together. We've done it a few times since then too. At her sister's house while the kids are at school. Lots of talking. Lots of emotions. 
always ending in sex. She wants to get back with me. She told me she's made space in the dresser again. She wants me to move back. She says she's giving me the time and space I need to make my own decision but those drawers are empty in the dresser. The thing is, I enjoy being with her when I'm with her. Not only the sex part but the talking, we even played video games one day. It was just nice. She's 100% on her best behavior and goes out of her way to be nice to me, like she's trying to woo me back. However, she also broke my heart. She dumped me, for lack of a better way to explain it. She's been great with the kids, even got the youngest to stop wetting the bed on her watch. But for most of the consideration through separation, she was completely shut down and had a foot out the door. She was mean about it too. When I'm not with her, I feel nothing, or at best frustration and anger. But then I see her and I feel okay, even happy at times. I never initiate contact. She's always the one who texts me to come over. And, honestly, she's never been this enthusiastic about our relationship since we were first dating. I can't decide if she's just having regrets, her post-separation plans didn't work out, or if she's actually turned over a new leaf. I can't decide what it means that I like being with her but couldn't care less when we're apart. This is where you all tell me it's a trap. She's up to no good. Go ahead.